In this video, I'll be focusing on two gas laws, Boyle's Law and Charles Law. I'll talk about Boyle's Law first. Boyle's Law deals with the relationship between the volume and pressure of an ideal gas. Volume and pressure are indirectly proportional. This means that if one factor increases, the other will decrease. For example, a gas will exert more pressure on the walls of a container if the volume is decreased because there would be less room for the gas molecules to move around. The opposite would happen if the volume is increased. If the volume of a container is increased, then the pressure exerted by the gas would decrease because there would be more room for the gas molecules and they wouldn't be colliding with the walls of the container as often. The formula for Boyle's Law is P1V1 equals P2V2, which means that the product of the pressure and volume at the beginning of a reaction is equal to the product of the pressure and volume at the end of a reaction. Here is an example of a graph and a diagram. You can see how the line has a negative slope, which means that there is an indirect relationship between the volume and pressure. In the diagram, you can see that the gas molecules have less room to move around when the volume decreases. This is why pressure increases because there will be more collisions between the gas molecules and the walls of a container. So here's an example problem. An ideal gas occupying a 2.0 liter flask at 760 torr is allowed to expand to a volume of 8.3 liters. Calculate the final pressure. So here we're going to use the formula P1V1 equals P2V2. And since we're trying to solve for final pressure, we have to solve for P2, and we could do that by dividing both sides by V2. So with the information given, V1 is equal to 2.0 liters, P1 is equal to 760 torr, and V2 is equal to 8.3 liters. And to solve for P2, you could just plug it into the equation. So you would multiply 2.0 liters by 760 torr, and divide all of that by 8.3 liters to get 180 torr. Now I'll move on to Charles' Law. Charles' Law deals with the relationship between the temperature and volume of a gas. Now unlike pressure and volume in Boyle's Law, temperature and volume are directly proportional, which means that if one factor increases, the other will also increase. This is because an increase in temperature causes molecules to move faster. This could be seen with a helium balloon. If you take a helium balloon into a cold room, it will shrink, and it would seem to inflate more in a hot room. The formula for Charles' Law is V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, which means that the quotient of the initial volume and temperature is equal to the quotient of the final volume and temperature. Let's do another example problem. 200 milliliters of a gas at 20 Kelvin is heated to 40 Kelvin. What is the final volume? So we'll be using the formula V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. And since we're trying to find the final volume, we're solving for V2. And we could do that by multiplying V1 and T2 and dividing it all by T1. For the given information, V1 is equal to 200 milliliters, T1 is equal to 20 Kelvin, and T2 is equal to 40 Kelvin. To find V2, just plug it into the equation and multiply 200 milliliters by 40 Kelvin and divide it all by 20 Kelvin to get a total of 400 milliliters. That's all for this video and thank you for watching.